We can substitute contract law for societal trust, allowing transactions to happen and property to move and services to occur in situations that the lack of trust would have otherwise prevented these transactions from occurring. And by moving this property and services to the place of highest value, we improve the overall value of society. Let me give you an example. Let's imagine a very small society where there's just two of us, just you and me. And I grow apples and you grow oranges. So I have a thousand apples and I'm getting sick of eating apples. And you, you have a thousand oranges and you're getting pretty sick of eating oranges. So we agree that at our next harvest, you will trade me 100 of your oranges for 100 of my apples. Notice, we didn't create anything new. We have the same number of apples and oranges in the world, but we've moved them to parties that want them more. We've unlocked social value. Now let's scale that up to a global economy. There may be a person in Bangalore who very much wants to be spending his time doing computer programming. And there may be a person in San Francisco who is very, very busy and has very little time, but would gladly pay for someone to help out with some of the computer programming. This transaction would allow both of the parties to get something they value more. Contract law enforces these types of promises that are based on mutual exchange or an exchange of value, where both parties are entering into agreements and making promises voluntarily.